Hello and welcome, my name is Fraser from Elementary Technology. We're here today in our Experience Centre having a look at ViewSonic's 52 series. So first things you'll notice when you turn it on is that it hasn't gone straight to my laptop. The reason for that is it's also got its own built-in abilities and this is really, really good. It means I don't have to have my laptop or my PC plugged in. This one can even have an onboard computer and at the moment that's turned off. I'm solely relying on what the board can do all by itself. So let's start with that because I want to talk about the whiteboard. The whiteboard is a great feature. Lots of screens nowadays have a whiteboard where you can come and make some notes. But if you want to really teach a lesson, you need to go over to your laptop and use the software. So with this, it's loads better and I'll tell you why. You've got pretty much the same software built into the screen as you have on your laptop and you can sign into either of them. So if I go into this one here, I can start delivering a lesson. Later on, I'm gonna do some marking and my TA is gonna take over, but I need my laptop. It's not a problem because I could be delivering this lesson from my laptop. Then I can leave with my laptop and they can sign into the board and carry on the lesson. So it's a brilliant, brilliant tool. Okay, so whilst we're in the whiteboard, let's talk about some of the basics. Being able to write on the board. Some of the issues we've had in school before are the fact that you can't see the board. Well, this is 4K, it's a fantastic picture and everyone in the room can see it now. That's a big tick. On top of that, it's the writing experience. We used to have to calibrate them all the time. Now it's pinpoint perfect. So if I grab a pen, you'll notice it's easy to write on. It's very, very accurate. And it's got some really clever features built in. So right away, it recognized I had a pen. Back of my hand, it knows it's the rubber. I can come down here and with my pen, I could select blue and then I can rewrite that. But then what I can do with my hand, I can go into the same tools, I can select a different color, make it a bit thinner and now we'll notice I've got a different pen. So maybe I'm going through ticking off my objectives and I can say, right, well, I've done that one, but we haven't done that one yet and I can change color nice and quickly. Anyway, there's loads to learn about the software. There's some fantastic features built in, but we're gonna focus on the hardware today. So if you want to see a demo on that, you can check that out too after this one. Right, let's just come out of the whiteboard for a second. Okay, so some other features that are built into the board are things like the ability to be able to mirror. So my view board display here, what that allows you to do is cast any device in the classroom Chromebooks, iPads, tablets, old laptops, anything at all up onto the screen. It's a really powerful feature. I've always got my pen, so whatever gets thrown up onto the screen, I can annotate over. For instance, I've got a student in the class, they want to share their work. Great piece of work comes up onto the board, I grab my pen, I can annotate over the top and talk with the class about their work, and then I can have a look at another student's. So absolutely brilliant tool. And as I say, that works with all sorts of different devices. So it really does use all the tech that you've already got in the classroom. Okay, so there are two features I really like. And you'll notice there's loads more things in here as well to look at. For now, we're just gonna look at the basics, but one I really like is this one here, Screen Record. So Screen Record is a brilliant tool if you've ever got students off. So let's say today you've got student off, and you're thinking, ah, well, we don't want them to miss out. Well, they don't have to, because as soon as I hit here to start recording, it's gonna record everything. So it's recording what's going on on the screen, everything I write on the screen, and I've got a mic array down here that's picking up all the vocals within the classroom as well. I can send that file to my students, and it's like they were actually there. As well as that, you know, if you're looking to do that sort of thing, we've got a camera up here as an option, so you can always go for a camera as well. Anyway. As I said, that's one of my favorite tools. There's loads on here to look through, but let's get my laptop plugged in and I'll show you what else the screen can do. So I'm gonna plug in to the front of the board, which is something I don't normally do. But as I said, I didn't have my laptop plugged in, so just ease of use, I've got this connectivity on the front that I can just plug into without having to go around the back of the board. Around the back of the board, you've got loads of connectivity, HDMIs, as I said, for laptops, visualizers, you name it. I've even got an onboard computer on this one, as I mentioned before. And as well as that, you know, you've got USB-C. So that's the one I've gone for today. USB-C not only does the display, it also does the touch and it's powering my laptop. So right now I've got no worries that my laptop is gonna 
power down, it's connected, it's charging, and the touch is working so I can start using it. Really, really simple. So I'm now online, we're just in bite size looking at some questions, and I want to use some of those built-in tools. So they are also here and over here. So what I can do in here, I can come into my tools, I can make it larger as well so I can see the rest of them, but I just want to be able to maybe annotate. We are talking about annotate a minute ago. I want to come into here and grab a pen, something nice and simple, and all I'm gonna do is highlight some things we're talking about in class. So I'm going to click on the pen, choose my color, highlight this because I want the students to look at it, and then also I want them to go onto this bit here. So the annotation tools are brilliant because you can use them over the top of anything at all, whether it's an application, a website, software, you name it, they're always there on both sides on hand to be used. A lot of the time, you just want to make some annotations and then throw them away, and you can, you can just hit the button and they're gone, but you might actually want to save them. So another tool you've got here is Capture. As soon as I hit that button, that takes a picture of the whole screen and saves it for me, so I can collect data all the time as I go along. Right, let's get rid of those annotations. I just want to show you another tool in here that I really like, the ability to freeze the screen. So if I tap on this one here, I can freeze the screen. It might be that I am mirroring my laptop as I am at the moment, and I've got something up on the board. Let's say we've got a lesson up on the board. What I'm gonna to want to do is freeze the screen as I go on to Sims and do the register. So I wanna keep that private. I'm just gonna hit the freeze button, freeze the screen. They can focus on the work there. On my laptop, I can now go on to Sims. So nice and secure to do so. Few extra tools in here as well. Love things like this one. So what I can do here is I can focus with the spotlight on specific things. And then I can just get rid of that. As you can see, we're back in that software I was talking about before. So you should definitely check out the demo on that. I'm just gonna come back out of here for a second. As you can see, Working on the board or working on a laptop is a very similar experience. This makes it a very easy transition. We can also help you incorporate your Google tools or your Microsoft tools to make it even better. I'd love to show you a full demo, so if you'd like to come to our experience center or you can join remotely and talk with one of our EdTech consultants, then let's get you booked in. Thanks very much for watching.